Well, as April of this year rolls around, I've decided to give up on robotics and pursue a higher calling. You see, something I've noticed as I work as an engineer, and I know I'm not the first, is that good engineers are first and foremost practical. As long as you get the job done and it serves the needs, it really doesn't matter how you get there. And this applies to communication as well. Things like spelling and grammar tend to take a bit of a back seat. As long as you get your point across, who cares? Well, I do. Which is why instead of robotics content, I've decided to focus on a more important topic, English for engineers. Our first topic drawn straight from a conversation I regularly have with my boss is the word effect. In English, we have these two different words, effect and effect. You might have an accent where they sound different. Will this affect you? Did it have any effect? But in the fairly standard Aussie accent of my colleagues and I, they sound the same and are pretty easy to mix up. So I'm gonna show you my tips for when to use effect or effect. Now, because English is a funny language, there are exceptions to just about everything I'm about to say, but you're almost never gonna come across them in an engineering context. The main difference between these words is that effect is a noun while effect is a verb. For those who don't remember, a noun is a thing, either physical or abstract, and a verb is a doing word. A similar situation is the word change. It can mean to make something different or the difference that was made. I'm going to change this code. I have made my change. The first one was a verb and the second one was a noun. It's the same with effect. It can refer to the action of changing as well as the content of the change. But unlike the word change, you have to remember to spell it differently for each way. And how on earth are you supposed to do that when you're bashing out an email at 4.55 on a Friday Arvo? So here's my trick to help you. We're gonna find some other words that we can swap them out with, and then you can test which one makes more sense in your sentence. The two words are result, which roughly means the same as effect, and for effect, we have modify. We can remember these by using the acronym REAM, R-E-A-M. Here are some examples of the noun effect or result. Will this change have an effect? This had no negative effect on the equipment. My code might have some side effects. First, we'll try putting in the word result. Will this change have a result? This had no negative result on the equipment. My code might have some side results. And it's not a perfect substitute, but look what happens when we try to use modify instead. Will this change have a modify? This had no negative modify on the equipment. My code might have some side modifiers. It's nonsense. In some cases, you have the extra hint of an article, a or an or the, which confirms it's a noun, but this isn't always the case. Now let's take a look at some examples of the verb affect, which means to modify. Will my changes affect you? This function affects the output of the system. Could that setting be affecting things? So we can see that these mean, will my changes modify you? This function modifies the output of the system. Could that setting be modifying things? And not, will my changes result you? This function results the output of the system. Could that setting be resulting things? Effect usually has a subject, the one doing the affecting, and an object, the one being affected. Also, that last one brings me to another point. Many of the prefixes and suffixes that we use will only work on one or the other. So, affecting and affected will have an A, while effective will be an E. And the phrase, in effect, effectively means the same as effectively, so it will have an E. Our rim trick can be harder to use on some of these because the meanings change a little bit and get messier. In some cases, we're turning these words from nouns or verbs into adjectives. Now it's time to test yourself. I'll put some up on the screen now, and then you can pause it and figure out which one you think works, and then after a few seconds, I'll put up the hints, and then the answers. We saw no immediate effect. The effect was unexpected. These works will not affect you. 
Could the voltage affect it? Our method was not effective. The device was unaffected. And finally, a fun phrase you're unlikely to come across every day. James, while John had had, had, had had, had had, had had, had had a better effect on the teacher. There are some rare exceptions to these rules or circumstances they don't cover. For example, the phrase to affect change uses effect as a verb, and affective disorders in psychology use a, but you're very unlikely to come across these in engineering. And if you do, you can probably be forgiven for getting it wrong. I hope that you found this video effective, that it affects you in a way that will have a positive effect on your communication. Tune in next time to hear me talk about plurals. Index and vertex are gonna shock you. This video was a bit of an April Fool's joke, but I hope that it is genuinely helpful for some of you out there. I'll be back to regular tutorials soon. Patrons already have the next one, and I've also been in the process of redesigning my website to hopefully make information easier to find. So you can also go check that out and see how it's going. If you want early access to videos and also to the Discord server, you can sign up over at Patreon and support the channel like all the amazing people listed below. I'll see you later.